We gon' summer, yeah, y'all talking to a dead man. Why? Yeah! Uh, no Alright, so look, man. Now, y'all wanna see a dead body? I know a one it. Come follow me. Everybody go ahead, grab a stick, and just poke at his body. Poke at it, y'all. Poke at it. Over there flopping like that. Have some respect for the goat. Get Lil Wayne off that song, fool. Over there got my goat looking crazy like that. And this dude, Yellow Beezy, right? I don't have a problem with Yellow Beezy, man. Yellow Beezy never did nothing to me, unlike all the other Mo3 Ops. He ain't no struggling rapper. And also, he never jumped in my DMs mad as hell, right? Because if he did that, I would have been packed this dude out. No disrespect, I'm just saying. You already heard what happened to the last security guard. Them dudes over there don't even drop music no more. Trying to sneak and drop music. I see you over there flopping fools. But yeah, Yellow Beezy never did nothing to me. It was just that Say Cheese interview, man. That was my limit. This dude stay lying on Mo3. Then gonna go over there on Say Cheese and lie like that. I ain't this no Mo3. Mo3 was jealous of me. Man, when you do interviews, just talk about your music, man. Stop talking about Mo3. If y'all want to talk about the dude every interview, you should have just left him alive. Jesus Christ. But yeah, so after that interview, and then hearing his new song with Lil Wayne, hearing him sneak this Mo3, this week was just Yellow Beezy week. I ain't gonna pack him out, but he had to feel a light jab. Well, this gonna happen every time you diss Mo3, fool. But next week, I'm gonna leave him alone, all right? Like I said, he never did nothing to me. Matter of fact, if this dude drop a good song, I'll make a video about it. I don't have nothing against Yellow Beast. Him and Mo3 beef, not my beef. All of these other dudes though, you see, they jumping in my DM in my comment section mad because I like Mo3 more than I like them. I'm trying to get my videos taken down and stuff. That's why I don't like them. Well, I ain't gonna stop packing y'all out till y'all ain't getting no views at all. I don't care if I'm 65 years old, fool. Y'all gonna learn to have some respect for people, man. Over there mad at me because I said Mo3 better than y'all. Wah, wah. Cry about it, fool. But with that being said, you hella busy. Boy, you better get your fins, man. Every time they make me mad, I'm gonna make you mad. They over there trying to be funny again. What this dude say? Whole oh, three fins not gonna like this. But Yalla walk this bit. Y'all better hear them punchlines. And the only thing good is Yalla Beezy homeboy dude home. Now first and foremost, if you like the song, what the hell does Mo3 things got to do with you liking the song? What we got to do about it? Why you bring us into it, man? And then we got to bring you into it. You see how that work? We over here just minding our business, man. And here you go, all whole three things. Boy, y'all think y'all creative as hell out there, huh? Whole three. Fool, how about you worry about getting Yalla Beezy views up? This dude got a music video with Lil Wayne and can't even get 500,000 views in a week. How about you work on that? Talking about what we not gonna like. How about you actually like this dude music? Because at this point, I don't even think y'all like this dude music. Y'all just hate Mo3, man. Ain't no way this dude got a music video with Lil Wayne and y'all so-called fans can't even get it to 500,000 views in a whole week, seven days. This dude just made history. This is Lil Wayne's lowest view video of his lifetime, fam. Couldn't even get 500,000 views in a week. And this dude over here trying to be funny. Whole three fans ain't gonna like this. Actually, we love this, fam. Hey. I might throw something on the grill. All this flopping. Or this brain Jordan also. I don't know what you talking about. Mo3 fans ain't gonna like this. <laughs> well, we happy as hell. Yalla Beezy walk this. Y'all better listen to them punchline. Fam. <laughs> this dude started off <laughs> the start of the song, man. I got sticks like an old lady. We heard the punchlines, man. <laughs> They're just not good. This dude over here tried to tell us 
we better go listen to the punchline. When this dude started off the song saying, I got sticks like a old lady. Fam, we heard the punchlines. <laughs> He's not Lupe Fiasco. Like, we don't need like a dictionary and rap genius and all of this. Oh, he said he got sticks like an old lady. Yeah, LaBeezy, you better get your fins, man. They keep trying to be funny, but they make you look bad. Every time they try to be funny, I'm going to be funnier. Because this is the thing, right? We don't never bring up the fact that your, your G-Wagon got shot up. This dude Sprinter got shot up. Mo3 talking about how he got y'all dressing up in suit. Like, we don't even talk about this stuff. We strictly keep it on music, fam. But for some reason, every time we bring up music, the only thing Yalla Beezy fans can say is, oh, well, well, that's why he died. He shouldn't have been doing all that this, and he dead. That dead rapper. Like, huh? Damn. We are talking about music. You know how embarrassing it is when you can't even make an argument for, for, for your quote-unquote favorite rapper about music? The only thing you can do is say, well, Mo3 dead. Fam, go run his streams up. How about that? The dude hasn't had a million Spotify monthly listeners since 2020, fool. This dude got a music video out with Little Wayne. And it couldn't even get 400,000 views in seven days. Like, it's literally going on eight days right now. And it has 383,000 views. How about y'all go help him out? Stop talking about Mo3. I know that's all y'all can talk about, man. Stop talking about Mo3 and actually talk about his music. Go run his views up. This is supposed to be the final boss? Like, come on, man. This wasn't even fun. This is supposed to be the final boss. This dude can't even get 500,000 views with Lil Wayne. And y'all over there trying to be funny. That is crazy to me. Get y'all priorities together, fam. Go help this dude out. The audio for Mo 3's came up, and for real, both just hit a million views. The audio, fam. We doing what we supposed to do. How about y'all do what y'all supposed to do? Help that dude out. How y'all let a Lil Wayne feature flop? That's almost impossible. Instead of worrying about what Mo 3 fans got going on, how about be a fan of Yalla Beezy? Support the dude music. Got that dude over there dropping them double floppers like that. This is supposed to be the lead song off the new album too, huh? Hmm. Good luck, man. You gonna need it. September 13th. Legend Deluxe. Get ready. We gonna show y'all how real fan base rock out, fool. Y'all ain't even no Yellow Beezy fans. Y'all just don't like Mo3. We actually like this dude's music. We about to turn him up, fool. Them little bitty views y'all over there getting. Them little bitty streams y'all over there get. They got some itty bitty teeny witty views on YouTube and streaming. Spotify, all the views is to the ground. Fools. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZF Baby 252. Yellow Beezy. Get your fins, man. Your fins digging your own grave for you. We just gonna kick you in, big dog. Blame your fan, not us. Lonely Mo3, I'm gone. Lift it. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Aye.